Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of Destined Diamonds and Slippery Sailors. DD and SS, episode 4. When we last left off, We needed to get, uh, where did it go? Now that I completed it, I forgot. Where is that? Ah, it's in black magic, that's why. We needed to get diamond. I believe I already cleaned this and I got gold, okay. It just so happens that I got a loot bag. And it just so happened that not only did I get five redstone, but I got a diamond inside. Oh yeah. Also I went mining again. So we got some, I managed to find some more copper, some more iron and some nickel because we are low on iron. We only have 85 in there. Ooh, more apples. So I want to cook all that up. Get that delicious goodness going. I also managed to slay a lot of zombies. A lot of zombies. And make another wub sword and repair my sword. But with that said, um, let us make this prepared flesh. Rotten flesh. How is this useful? Craft for rotten flesh to prepare flesh to prepared flesh and we will see. Put your prepared flesh in a furnace and ta da leather. Well we don't have an extra furnace right now, but I'm curious, can we make one? Infernium seed reprocessor, that's not what I want. We can make infernium coal. But that's not what I want. I want tier one infernium seeds. We can actually make that. Yeah, let's make those real quick. Regular seeds. That's weird. No matter. All right, because I want mystical agriculture going as fast as possible. Oh, pff, I'm blind. Uh, let's throw this in there. I think we're good. Let's go plant these seeds. Is it nighttime? Yes, it is nighttime. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, and if you're wondering why I went in uh, creative, that was because I was flying around. Wasn't dealing with... Uh, Walking everywhere. So let's find a spot. You know what? Right here is good enough. And those can just sit there and relax. And relax. 
I'm a doctor. <laughs> yeah, no, I watch too much Family Guy. Actually, I barely watch TV anymore, which is shocking. But, oh yeah, look how fast this grew. Snad is amazing. That is how fast sand grows and and it, like snad is just amazing. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, do that and do that. There we go. Close that up. Non edible plants. Wheat. Let's see. So it's the same recipe for fast furnace. It doesn't make a difference. As long as it's cobblestone. Crag rock cobblestone. Okay. So um could have swore the furnaces were activated. I guess not. I mean, we could make Infernium coal, but... Uh, fertile soil from rustic. One times one compressed. Cobblestone, a single diamond, which I'm not getting rid of. So we need four times one compressed cobble, which is stone. Okay. Times one compressed stone, not cobblestone. <sighs> Let's see. Fertile soil. See, this one uses mana steel and a mana diamond, but we don't need that. Okay. Growth accelerator down the road. Uh, what about the... I think it's... Um... Actually, additions... That's not too bad, but I think we need, yeah, we need the blacksmith workshop in order to make this. And then we need the tool cores as well. Which are made at the mage's workshop. From artisan work, uh, work tables. Trying to hold off on that. So we'll put that away. Put her diamond away. And let's cook up this prepared flesh. That'll give us leather. We still have to find Kirby. And now we can get into paper. So, to create paper, we can either find manuscripts from Ice and Fire, get them in a loot bags, which is. Yeah. Eh. Or we can take some stone, some any slab. I don't think it has to be sandstone. Nope, it has to be sandstone. So we use a sandstone slab, three sugar cane to get paper. And we need four paper in order to do this. One, two, three, four. Okay, and sandstone slab. Sandstone with us all. Okay. Oh, 
Hopefully my salt isn't... Oh, let's make another one. Uh, two iron and... Three sticks. Can I make a steel one? Um, hand saw. A R T I S A N Artisan. Can we see? We got steel, diamond, aluminum, bronze, copper, and for lead, nickel. We got nickel, which is has a durability of three hundred. What's iron? Two fifty. So nickel's a little bit better. Silver. Yeah, we got steel. 500 durability, so steel's better. So we only need two pieces of steel. That's not bad. We got it. And I gotta make more sticks. That's real good. Barely did any damage on that. Okay. All right. I don't. Did it consume that? I think it did. We got paper. Sweet. Clean two more paper and some glass. Next up will be rice slime balls and rough, rough brownstone. We can do wood to iron upgrade. Oh, let's get a sleeping bag. Since now we have the leather to make this. Uh, white carpet, two woven cotton, a piece of leather, and an artist, uh, an artisan's needle. Oh. And then we can finish out this row. Um, I'm gonna actually sacrifice my carpet up here. I got two of those. I got my needle. this one. Oh, we got some curry rice. Nice. I didn't mean to rhyme. Let's make half of those into baked potatoes. <laughs> we can get some baked potatoes, brah. I love baked potatoes. I wish you can inject it immediately into the thing, but you're not really looking at it. So that goes there, that goes there, these go there, and these go there. Sleeping mat complete. Awesome, sis. So pretty much when it's dark out. Uh, you right click with this. And you can sleep outside. Good way to get through the night. Unless it's a blood moon and... They have it set to where during a blood moon you can't sleep. Then it's not fun. <laughs> and you can't skip the night. Alright. Um, 
let's put our potions in here. I'm not going to be using them anytime soon. I wished the cooked apples didn't just stack at 20 and that was it, but bakers can't be choosers. They're cooked apples and they're delicious. Alright, paper. I'll stick the wool in here, why not? Uh, rice kingdom over here. I think we're going to need this in the fresh water. Because next up is... We're doing really good. We're burning through this. We're going to make Cloudy and we need Kirby. What does Cloudy need? Solidified experience. I get that from enemies. Let's see if we can get some experience from enemies. Is anybody around? Hello? Is anyone here? Well, I need to break your face with my axe. I promise it won't hurt much, if at all, because with one swing you'll be dead. <laughs> I love how they just fall asleep like that. It's so cute. Jerk. Like, I see him crying. Where is he? Can't eat anything just yet. Do we get any? No, no solidified experience. Not yet. It's down over this way. What are you? I knew it. Oh, sweet. I, I kept my stuff. Okay, cool. I'm not worried about that. It's the only reason why I don't like dying most of the time. It's because I don't feel like doing a corpse run. Ow. Go shoot you when you ain't looking. Think they want their revenge. Nothing yet. I don't think there's a proper way of making solidified experience. Where is it? Here we go. Don't lunge at me. <sighs> oh well. 
I can get rid of that death marker. I don't need that up. Sleep! Okay. So for those of you who don't know, yes, this is episode five. <laughs> okay, so we're powering through this. We're doing so great. Um... That's two gold coins. What is the... That's a, two platinum coins. Wow. All right. So let's make these rice slime balls. Rice slime balls is a full rice dough and a any source of water. Rice dough is a potato, rice, and a artisan's mortar and pistol. So we're gonna need. Let's make an excess. Let's make sixteen. Uh, we're gonna need some more rice and mortar and pestle. There we go. Uh, the neighbors are out and they're unnecessarily loud. Okay. Bing. There we go. Simple throwing torch. Two torches, a string, and our slime ball. Uh, two torches, a string, and our slime ball. Unnecessarily loud, so everyone in the from here to ten buck two can hear you. Give me one second. I'm gonna shut the window. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Right. I swear I have some sort of recording curse. That string. And what else? Two torches. There we go. Um, will these work? Nah. Kind of figured they wouldn't. There we go. <clears throat> we also got some slime early on. All right, so these um, torches, you can actually throw them as the name suggests. Throwable torch, this place, this place is a torch in the world wherever it lands. So I'll show this off real quick. I do kind of rapid fire, but uh, hopefully they're over here. Probably went in the water. <laughs> That's weird. Where'd they go? Hmm. But yeah, you throw it and a torch gets placed down. That was weird. They probably got destroyed. They're not in the water. At least they should be in the water, at least. Oh, well. So let me get rid of this death marker. There we go. Okay. All right. 
And I found this elder flower. I don't know what it does. So let me know in the comments if you know what the elder flower does. All right. It's like a novelty item for me. I don't really care about that. Uh, throwable torches and stuff like that. It's like, eh. It is what it is. Uh, we can do that at least and get more leather. Because I don't know what we're going to need it for. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Rough brownstone is a block that can be processed to several other types of brownstone on which you can walk faster. Its speed increases, make it suitable for long distance roads. I'll think about that. Might have a uh, power off in another building. Oh, that reminds me, I didn't show you upstairs. Up here, I made a little gazebo because one of the rewards is a light, uh, four light blue couches. So I made a big old couch that we can sit and chill on. I like it. It's cool. Yeah. It's my little gazebo. Well, not a little gazebo, but you know what I mean. A little add-on. I think I'm going to do it with all four corners. Just make a internal 9x9 and just have it connected by the corner of the house on each side. I had to do some, uh, engine, some little ingenuity there down below because I didn't want the um, quote-unquote supports for the uh, for this add-on to be in the garden so uh, I'll show you real quick see if we can get a good glimpse at it so it's like braced underneath and then it runs towards the center and then it goes straight down to the ground and then the ground the ground support is more reinforced and then for each of these corners, it wraps underneath, connects, and then they get um, placed into the side of the wall over here. And it touches the building, which I just realized I did this and I might die. This is going to hurt. Ow. I broke my knees. What knees? Shut up. Okay, so we got our brownstone, that's done. Uh, olive trees. So we need to find any olive. Olive trees grow naturally in the world. Forests, plains, mountains. Olive leaves uh, drop olive saplings. Collect olives and saplings for your garden. Mm, so we need olives. That's not what I wanted. I think I want pennies. There we go. I think I'll go out and find olive trees. Okay. So we'll hold off on that one. And we'll go and get. Woo. They're over there fighting each other. Is it a blood moon? Yep. Oh, oh crap. Yep, it's a blood moon. You don't feel tired enough to sleep. Sure I do. I don't like blood moons. 
Because I looked at the screen and I'm like, why is there so many mobs? Oh, wait, it's a blood moon. That's why there's so many. All right. Well, I like claim to this area, so that way nothing blows up. Whoa! Haha, uh -huh, you missed! Alright. Let's see. Let's work on getting a wood upgrade, which it's just wood casings and iron plates. We have those. How many do I need? Just one. Good. Claim that. Copper, iron. I need an iron chest. Copper chest. Over. I'm actually going to upgrade this one down here. Oh, he's already iron. That's why. All right. Uh, we'll upgrade this one. And then I'm going to take everything out. I'm going to pick it up. Light blue shulker box. Nice. And shulker boxes are nice because those are portable. Uh, transport. They don't lose their inventory uh, when you set them down. So I can literally take this stuff, put it in here, put the shulker box up, and it's still in there. I hear a lot of stuff dying. You missed. You missed again. Ow. Alright. Okay, everything. What is going on? Ow! How did it? Oh! Crap! Get out of my house! It's just this crazy night. Uh oh. Uh oh. Please don't freeze. Okay. And then finally, shulker box upgrade. Oh. Light blue iron shulker box. Okay. You got a value, very valuable shulker box. Time to upgrade it. You don't need iron plates for that. Oh, it's just iron, no, iron and glass. Sweet. I hear a lot of death. <laughs> Things are dying. Oh, that's annoying. Remove. Pick this up. And let's see. Um, can you guys go die somewhere else? You're making a lot of noise. a little bit better. Alright, so we need four iron. Four glass. Um, 
Four iron. And four glass. Maybe this one's disabled. Oh, that's if you have a copper shulker box. Okay. I'm dumb. <laughs> Y'all just standing there my door, and that's not cool. Now you guys can fight amongst yourselves. I don't trust them. Okay. Light blue iron choker box. We got two sea lanterns for that. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'll accept it, I'll take it. And let's do one more uh, black magic tier one. Uh, darkened apple and a book. A darkened apple is just an apple and a dark gem. Let's move this and this. So we need, uh, I had to run outside. Yep, three paper and piece of leather. Got her book, but I need an apple. Is it daytime yet? Yeah. Oh god. Why is there so much death? It's like I know this is here and it's somewhat protecting them from the sun. That's insane. Had to die for an apple. <sighs> At least I got the spikes out there. Those do come in handy. that we can put our shulker box here for now and I'll throw the sea lanterns in there we're gonna random iron sword which will come in handy later now that we can make our you know all our good stuff uh upgrade can get put away Salt can get put away. Water, mortar, and pestle. Copper can get put away. Bones. Uh, brownstone. Let's see what we get. Lapis and an empty map. Meh. 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 Although, now that we have the shulker box, I can put the more important stuff in the shulker box. Take that out. That's better. Where's my dark gems? There we go. So apple and dark gem gives us a book. A darkened apple. I wouldn't eat this. Maybe feed it to some animal. Ding. 
We got a golden apple for that. If you plan to get involved with evil craft, the first thing you should do is obtain the in-game guide. The Origins of Darkness. Craft one with the darkened apple. Darkened apple, go bar in a book. Not hard at all. Obtained by feeding a darkened apple to a mob and quickly throwing a book at the resulting anomaly. Or he just crafted in workbench. <laughs> Either or. But it still works. And what do we get for our troubles? Hmm, mineral torches. Not bad. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, throw that in there. Golden apple. We can put that up. Not eating that anytime soon. And I'll put some regular apples in the chest. Just in case I need more later on down the road. Rice, rotten flesh. Saying that out loud sounds so wrong. Uh, what's in your chest? Uh, rotten flesh. Uh, an apple. A raw pork chop. <laughs> Alright, and we got the Origins of Darkness. Ooh, reading material. <laughs> hmm. It would seem this world holds more than meets the eye. There are things I will conclude in this book. My writings of a quiet knowledge of the obscurity that resides here. I have discovered a dark way of living with the creatures of this world. What evil will come of this? I asked myself. Evil lurks in every corner. I hear a dark voice within me reply. I have discovered a few secrets within this vast world of silly villagers and zombies. Something their puny minds will never comprehend. Many kinds of magic exist in this world. But the kind you can achieve with blood seems different. I've noticed people cutting themselves for obtaining blood. I prefer to spare my strength for some other things. This is going to be fun. So, yeah, we're getting into evil craft, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So obscure glass leads to hardened blood. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a decently long enough video. So with that said, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I'm your host, Michael Gardner, a.k.a. BlueFox22. Technically speaking, we survived our first blood moon. No, we didn't. I died. So we'll see what happens in the next one. But with that said, as always, stay safe. Stay as healthy as you possible. And above all, stay foxy. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're feeling generous, I will leave a link to my Patreon down below. And uh, as low as a dollar a month, you can help support the channel. But if you can't, don't worry about it. Nothing will ever be behind a paywall. My channel will always remain free to you all. Just with some extra kickbacks, some extra bonuses. My way of giving back for you helping me out. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to wrap it up here. And as always, I'll see you all in the next episode of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. Take care. Have yourselves a wonderful day and or night whenever you decide to watch this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.